Hey Libras, welcome to my channel Revolution. Alright, so today we are going to be seeing your messages for the month of November, Libra. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, make sure you have subscribed to my channel so that you receive uh, monthly updates on your videos for the month of, for all the months basically, but this is for the month of November. Alright. So let's see from, uh, one second, I'm pulling from the Soul's Journey deck, oops. Yeah, some random spooky stuff is happening in Scorpio season. Uh, this is the deck that I'm using, okay, Soul's Journey deck. Alright, so let's see, let's see Libra, what are you dealing with? What are you dealing with in the month of November? What is Libra dealing with in the month of November? What is Libra dealing with in the month of November? Ooh, that card wanted to come out. Ooh, Libra, blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Hmm, is there some kind of a blame game going on here, Libra? Either this other person is blaming you for something, you are blaming this other person for something which is causing a lot of worry and anxiety within you. Okay. I mean, blaming each other is never the answer to your queries here, guys. I mean, yeah, with the grief card here, you know. It's never the answer, guys. What is Libra dealing with in the month of November? What is Libra dealing with in the month of November? Mm -hmm. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So yeah, there might be a situation that you're dealing with Libra in the month of November where, you know, uh, initially you guys are blaming each other for some kind of a responsibility that this other person does not want to take, okay? This other person does not want to claim responsibility for the way they act, the way they behave, okay? Or this could be you, alright? But uh, this is causing a lot of worry for the other person is what I want to make it clear here, okay, Libra? Uh, because... You guys need to accept responsibility for yourselves here, okay? You guys cannot act like, uh, you know, things are, uh, you know, you can't keep it childish here is what I feel. Especially if you are in a committed relationship or things like that, you know. Uh, because this might cause a lot of worry within the other person. This might uh, worry you a lot because they blame you for everything, Libra. They blame you for uh, the way you talk, the way you move, the way you, uh, you know, they judge you for uh, small things, okay, which causes you to go into the state of how do I please them and how do I um, uh, serve them, you know, and uh, this is also some kind of a friendship dynamic that you're dealing with, okay, this could be a friendship dynamic also between you and this other person or you might be taking things like, you know, let's just be friends for now, okay. Let's not just get, uh, let's not get deep into this uh, rabbit hole because um, maybe Libra, you have experienced it with this person before and it just led to disappointments and now you are just like taking it one step at a time, okay? And you don't want to get back to that energy of feeling like, you know, you're regretful about anything in life, okay? You just want peace is what I'm feeling here, alright? So let's see Libra, uh, what is the past energy that is... Uh, coming up for Libra in the month of November. What is the past energy? What is the past energy that Libra is dealing with in the month of November? What is past energy that Libra is dealing with in the month of November? Two cards for the past, please, for Libra. Two cards for the past, for Libra. Okay, just wanted to go reverse. So Libra, you might be dealing with someone who kind of, you know, uh, pushed you in a wrong way, okay? They broke your heart in some way and now you're taking your time from uh, uh, healing from this situation, okay? You are... 
uh, focusing on your self love on focusing on your own life okay and uh, this person kept blaming you for uh, this could be this person blaming you for you know uh, leaving them out in the cold or having another person by your side and you cheating on them or they always had something to point fingers at you about okay and this caused a lot of anxiety within you okay tell me about uh, the past for libra tell me about the past for libra please tell me about the past one card one more card for libra for the past six of coins okay so this is uh, taurus energy and libra energy so i feel that uh, libra you all you wanted is an equal give and take in this relationship okay but every time you try to mend uh, mend the situation or try to uh, please them in a certain way or help them monetarily maybe you help them with money uh, you help them with resources you okay uh, but they were never satisfied is what you feel okay and this caused you to take your energy back completely like i don't want to deal with this situation i would rather deal with someone who is on my level where who who can actually understand the way i function and the way i work okay because uh blaming is very childish to you libra is what i'm seeing here that if this person wants to constantly blame you for things then that is something that they have to deal with this is not your problem right this is their insecurity and they have to deal with that situation all right so let's see tell me about the present energy for libra in the month of november two cards for the present energy beautiful high priestess libra you are focusing on your own self here okay you are very very mysterious to this other person yeah you are focusing on your spirituality on your healing you might be consulting a tarot reader or an astrologer or someone who is uh, psychically very aware okay or you might be interested in a person who is like that okay who is into spirituality and who is into these things you might also be worried about such a person that this person can read your mind or something libra what the hell <laughs> okay uh yeah tell me about uh, the present moment that libra is dealing with present circumstance yes sun beautiful libra so this person really makes you happy though libra is what i'm seeing okay this person really sparks you up this person who is uh behind the scenes who uh, uh you know doesn't want to be seen too much you want to give to this person is what i'm feeling you want to uh look at this card what it says darkness into darkness the key to all mystery you know so this person might be very very uh, mysterious okay this person might have a very mysterious personality that uh you worry that you will you ever be able to be friends with them or will you ever be able to have that connection with them that you had with the past person okay although this past person caused a lot of issues in your life but this person seems like very generous and very happy go lucky also uh they have a very very uh, glowing energy about them okay talking about the internal energy not the external but yeah of course sun with the sun they might be very beautiful as well okay inside out is what i feel tell me about uh, the future energy the latter half of november what is libra dealing with in the later half king of wands mm so yeah libra i feel like uh, this person is definitely passionate about you okay but uh, they are trying to keep it on a friends level friendship level okay because they worry that uh, you might uh, you might kind of uh, you might uh, blame them uh, if they go too fast with you okay you might blame them if uh, they go they push you to a corner okay you want to take th take things slow slowly here because of the past that you were dealing with here okay which kind of uh, you're healing with uh, healing from right now so let's see what is the uh, last card for the future Mm. So this person is definitely waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, this might be a fire sign that you're dealing with, Libra, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay, so this person is waiting uh, in order for you to tell them, you know, what you want with this connection between you and them. Okay, they are waiting for you to respond to them, um, and I feel that you want to keep things platonic right now, Libra. Like you don't want to go into deep. Okay. 
uh, because of the past and things like that or but yeah this person definitely uh, gets your blood boiling is what i can say they get you very pumped up they they either make you very happy okay and there is this mysterious side to them okay they might be a very uh, a very spiritual person or spiritual practitioner is what i feel and it causes you to be very attracted to them is what i feel but you're taking things very slowly here so that you know you are not judged or there's no arguments or fights with this person okay you're taking things very slowly here so let's go deeper now libra let's see what is the past energy what is this heartbreak that you have to heal from okay where you guys were you know i mean this person was blaming you for everything you know and they didn't want to accept responsibility for anything this past person okay and we'll come to know if it's the past person that wants to come back or not okay let's see tell me about the three of swords tell me about the three of swords in reverse so libra page of swords mm so yeah you felt like this person uh, spoke very immaturely okay this person uh, spied on you this person wanted to kind of have a one up on you in conversations and you know sometimes they spoke very very immaturely which caused you to uh, kind of take a step back and you know just reassess the situation tell me about the three of swords in reverse for libra in the past ooh i'm going to take the 10 Ten of Swords. So yeah, this this nature of this person, where you know this person wanted to analyze uh, every which way in uh, every way in which you heard them. Okay, this person wanted to um, wanted to tell you and wanted to be upfront with you about the way you have heard them. Okay, and uh, this caused a lot of pain within your heart because you felt very much like you know everything was being blamed upon you for this whole thing. Although you know relationship is about two people and two people taking responsibility for their own actions, right? So you feel that you were to be blamed for this uh, situation and. Uh, hence you caused this ending to happen here okay you were like i don't want to take this anymore you have betrayed me enough okay and you are too immature for me to for me to even deal with you or tackle with you you know tackle you in the future in the uh, present moment in november okay so this is the past energy okay tell me about the six of coins you ended things with this past person because of the blame games mind games strength okay this might be a leo that you're dealing with okay or gemini okay but yeah i feel that uh, you all you wanted was an equal give and take in this relationship okay this might be a past life connection that you're dealing with okay with the infinity symbol on her head this could be a past life situation that you're dealing with but yeah um you being generous now now because of this a uh, whole blame game situation you kind of took a step back and you controlled yourself you tackled your inner demons you know even though you wanted to uh, be with them but somehow you you restrained yourself you had this self confidence that you can pull it off you know because there might be some codependency in this relationship libra is what i'm feeling okay codependency is something where you are reliant on the other person for um uh, a relationship or for some some kind of uh, energy feedback towards you okay and you took a step back from that you took a step back from that whole pattern and you broke that pattern tell me about the six of coins you stopped being generous towards them as well okay you you just took your energy back completely like go ghost on them okay because of their betrayal because of the way they treated you tell me about the six of coins in the past for libra mhm mm world card okay so yeah it's like you are looking forward to a better future here you are not focusing on the past here this is beautiful libra okay we just uh, crossed over from your season to scorpio season now it's scorpio season so this is a uh, a season to kind of take a step back and analyze uh, what what have you been doing repeat uh, uh, like in a repeated fashion okay what what have you been doing repeatedly that you need to cut off okay and yeah you uh, are definitely maybe you are also checking online for new connections maybe you want to connect with uh, um this could be a new person that you might be dealing with this is a, to a, a scorpio taurus leo or aquarius okay any of the fixed sign 
so yeah you ended uh, the situation with this person all right and you are looking out for the new here and you want to be generous towards something that uh, causes you to feel less uh, worried okay now this present energy there is this another energy here that i'm seeing okay but what are you worried about here libra i want to know okay so let's see the present moment in the month of november what is libra dealing with tell me about the high priestess tell me about the high priestess you're very quiet here libra is what i feel you're very quiet you're not dealing with many people here and even if you are you don't want to come out in the i don't know like you you you're slowly focusing on what makes you happy okay and you are trying to forget about the past which kind of worries you okay it takes you back in that spiral tell me about priestess tell me about the priestess for libra tell me about the priestess for libra three of cups mm this could be reconciliation here okay with this past person it could be ooh six of cups i feel like this this past person libra i feel is completely ended here okay but this could be another past person this could be like a second last ex or something i don't know how to describe this okay but this is like you wanting to reconcile with this specific person okay um and this is like your childhood sweetheart this is someone this is a soulmate connection of yours okay this person really really uh, shared a lot of beautiful memories with you and with this sun and scorpio card this is a beautiful card look at this card you know so uh, yeah there's a lot of memories and beautiful memories that you are collecting with this person here libra okay and this person might also be very very into occult knowledge or into mysteries of the universe and things like that okay uh, they might be very mystical and uh, you are definitely attracted to them and they you love them a lot libra okay um and they definitely reciprocate that energy back to you this is so beautiful libra so beautiful tell me about the sun two of wands okay you're looking forward to such such a bright future with this person okay and this person is reciprocating that energy back to you okay but uh, yeah there might be a little bit of worry on your part libra okay that uh, really is this real i mean is this connection even real can this be you know this person could also be a person who has seen a lot of shades of you libra who understands you on a deeper level um you guys might have uh, spent a lot of time together or you know talking online this could also be okay but uh, yeah uh, you guys have a lot of memories together is what i feel okay and uh, yeah you 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 want to tr you if you guys live apart from each other or in different countries different states whatever you want to travel to them and you want to you want to be with them you know you feel like you can conquer the world with this person or this person feels this way about you libra this person feels like they can conquer the world with you they love you so much oh my god this is beautiful energy libra scorpio season such beautiful memories all right Ooh, look at the ace of pentacles. So they want to offer you a brand new beginning here, Libra. Okay? So you, they want to offer you a brand new beginning or this is you who might be wanting to offer someone a brand new beginning and a stable start, okay? And uh yeah, you are focusing on your coins here. You're focusing on your money. Um you want to grow your wealth. You want uh uh to be known worldwide maybe you started your own channel on youtube or you know you're doing things you're you're being very creative about your uh life here okay so yeah this is something someone really serious about you here libra so what are you thinking about <laughs> i think you should really really reciprocate that back to them and i'm i'm sure you are here i'm seeing that but there might be some past energy that you are bringing into this connection libra you might be carrying this old energy into this okay because you're still healing so you need to take some time away and to to understand your energy here okay so that you can completely immerse yourself with this person because you really love them you really love them okay uh so although yeah you you are taking things slow though okay that's what i feel here tell me about the king of wands 
so now we are seeing the future energy for libra tell me about the future energy okay guys this could be anyone uh, this could be a family member co-worker uh, all right this is not only about romantic relationships i do it on all the levels okay so take it how it resonates this person could be a family member who really really is fond of you okay and you kind of had a break break away from them because of a relationship that you were dealing with and now suddenly you guys are you know on good terms with each other this could be anyone okay so take it how it resonates tell me about the future energy for libra the king of wands so yeah this person is very fired up and passionate about you libra um they're waiting for you to get back to them and you're being very mysterious towards them although you have so much love for them in inside but uh, you're not sharing that much with them okay uh high priest mm this is why does this look like commitment libra oh my god this person is so into you libra they want to they want to marry you they want to get married to you okay and the thing is that you taking it slow is uh, making them wait and uh, you know they they are they, they're ready to show you that you know okay fine I'll, i'll i'll be friends with you okay until you're ready for me this is such a beautiful soul this person beautiful libra beautiful they want something they, they want marriage libra they want something conventional okay tell me what the king of wands maybe they might propose to you in the month of november libra or you might propose to them tell me about the king of wands tell me about the king of wands so this is like the later the latter part of november okay queen of pentacles this would be this could be a taurus capricorn or a virgo that you're dealing with libra and uh, you see this person as very very loving nurturing kind caring towards you okay this could be male or female just take it how it resonates tell me about the three of wands and this relationship is progressing beautifully okay seven of cups mm this might be a very psychic connection as well okay you guys might have seen each other in your dreams here uh you might be wondering like why the hell is she in my dreams or why the hell is he in my dreams here you know and you might be uh, kind of fantasizing about them and uh, fantasizing about their return okay um and they might be doing the same okay you might feel a pull on your energy from this person libra you might be like okay uh, like you might be feeling pulled to speak to them by the end of mm eight of cups libra and knight of cups so much water libra you might be dealing with a water sign here so beautiful okay so what i'm seeing here is libra uh, the more you are holding back okay um even though they offer you this uh, stable commitment uh the more they they kind of feel confused about it and they kind of go back and forth in their energy okay libra like you know some they get confused and then they want to walk away from the situation but then they want to come back again and offer you this uh cup of love um um cloaked in friendship okay <laughs> oh god libra what are you doing to this person what are you doing to this person this is beautiful this is okay and and they definitely want to work on the situation with you libra they want a legacy with you they want a happy married life with you okay and uh, if this is regarding your business then i feel that you're getting a major opportunity um in the middle part of november okay you're getting a major opportunity that is going to give you a lot of success and a lot of happiness okay um definitely and things will be stable financially for you if it wasn't in the past okay so don't worry about anything and take things slowly and uh, i feel that yeah this person is all over you libra i mean what to say what to say libra i love it okay so uh yeah let's see what do i want to pull from so we'll pull a wisdom of the oracle for you now okay Purple of wisdom, wisdom, wisdom of the oracle. One second. But this is beautiful energy, Libra. Like uh, you are gonna be so happy and emotionally contented 
um, you know, and satisfied and satiated, you know, uh, in the month of November, like uh, after the middle uh, half of November starts, okay. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, what is the advice pertaining to the spread for Libra? What is the advice for Libra pertaining to the spread? Ooh. Two cards? Libra? Oh my god, three cards. I'm not going to take all of them. Please give me one card for Libra. Please give me one card for Libra pertaining to the spread. Please give me one advice for Libra pertaining to the spread. Please give me one advice for Libra pertaining to the spread. Please give me one advice for Libra. Please give me one advice for Libra pertaining to the spread. Hmm. Observe for Libra. Just see this card and see, uh, you can see if you get any messages out of this card. You can pause the video if you want. Okay. But yeah. Uh, so you are in a very, very observant mode in the month of November. Okay. Just check your natal chart and check where Scorpio falls. Okay. Because the sun is in Scorpio. So it might make you a little bit introspective, more inward. Okay. Not wanting to um, talk to many people here. Um, and this is also the number four. So this is about relationships. Okay. Nine plus four. So this is about relationships. And uh, yeah, you're wanting to observe this other person's emotions is what I'm feeling here. You want to understand what makes this other person tick emotionally and you want to fulfill them and serve them the way they want to be served or you, this person wants to serve you the way you want to be served. Okay, it can go vice versa here. But this is an advice for you. So let's read what you should do in the month of November for my beautiful Empress. Let's see one second. Mm -hmm. Observer Essential meanings Perspective, objectivity, neutral observation from a distance The Oracle's message Most people see the world through a personal lens They closely identify with their feelings and experiences So much so that they come to believe that these are the only reality There are times when you need distance in order to gain perspective and understand your circumstances from a more neutral vantage point. Now is one of those times in your life. This is a perfect moment for you to begin to do some exploring. Instead of only considering yourself, consider what you need to understand about the conditions, people, culture and environment you are engaged with now. You'll be so happy you did. Illumination is the miracle you seek and will indeed find. Relationship message. Sometimes you just can't see the forest for the trees in your way. Feelings can get all jumbled up and often you hear one thing when a person says another. It can be like an echo of an unresolved past experience dubbed over your conversation. Take time out before you react. It's likely the other person has no idea how his or her words have affected you. Take a few steps back and lend understanding to the situation. Have faith in your connection and trust that you can come together. Take to higher ground now and cultivate curiosity about what you observe in yourself, in others and in the landscape. You will find things much improved sooner than you know. So guys, like I was saying, you know, the past person has caused you to feel so much pain and uh, betrayal energy within you, okay, because of their immaturity that you are carrying that with this uh, another ex of yours okay um, and it is kind of uh, that's why you are in this mode where you're observing this other person because you don't trust them you want a safe distance from them and their emotions towards you and they have a lot of emotions towards you Libra they love you so much okay and you know that and it kind of scares you is what I feel that's why you are taking a distance from them and you're observing them like mm, uh, are you okay like let me see mm. Oh, that's how you feel? Okay. Mm. 
<laughs> like you're observing their emotions okay so yeah and like i said you guys might be seeing each other in your dreams okay so uh, have faith and yeah it will be improved sooner prosperity message it is an advantageous time for you to get some distance from what you're doing and see your work and your projects from a different perspective the trick is to connect to the essence of your goals and aspirations while letting the form and timing be dictated by spirit you may be too personally attached to an outcome and unable to see the miracle because it's not turning out exactly as you planned trust spirit the perfect version of your abundance is right in front of you remain neutral and curious and watch the miracle unfold guys remaining neutral is very important for your success okay like i said you are getting a major opportunity in uh, the month of november okay especially the middle part of november okay so especially when you align with this other person this other ex of yours also okay and um, yeah so you need to not be so personally involved in the outcome of the situation that you completely uh, lose your neutrality and your curiosity within the situation okay and that's how this miracle will grow into a beautiful legacy for you and your family here and you and this person who you want to be uh, who you want to commit to or who wants to commit to you okay libra so uh, yeah i hope you uh, resonated with this uh, reading let me know how you felt about the reading please comment like share and subscribe uh, if you have any doubts about uh, anything regarding my reading please go in the description box you can see your sun moon rising and how to prioritize the readings everything is given in the description box you can donate to my channel if you find this reading very interesting and you feel like uh, helping this channel grow a little bit more you can definitely donate to the channel um, and uh, also you can uh, gift me decks there is an amazon wish list link that i have given in the description so you can go there and you can definitely uh, if you're feeling generous then you can do that yeah libra um, i hope you enjoyed the reading thank you so much for coming here to revolution i love you all Mwah.